Hi friends, I'm Kayla. Welcome to Church at Home. I am so glad you're watching church today because we are getting ready to celebrate something, or should I say someone, very special. We're getting ready to celebrate Jesus. Because did you know that Christmas is all about Jesus? Jesus was born at Christmas, so we are celebrating his birthday. That's why today's big idea is all about Jesus. Our big idea says, I can believe Christmas is all about Jesus. Are you ready to say that? Repeat that after me on three. One, two, three. I can believe Christmas is all about Jesus. Yay, when you believe something, that means you know it is true with all your heart. We can do things together to show we believe Christmas is all about Jesus. So let's start celebrating Jesus together by singing one of my favorite songs. It's called Happy Birthday Jesus. So stand on up and let's get ready to dance and sing for Jesus. Happy Birthday Jesus! All right friends, let's wish Jesus a happy birthday as we sing this song. birthday. Good job singing and dancing everyone. I had so much fun clapping and saying happy birthday Jesus with you. We can celebrate because Jesus is God's son and he came because he loves you and me so much. Now I want to show you something very special. Do you know what this is? That's right. It's a Bible. God's special book for us. It teaches us real stories about people and places from a long time ago. Jesus' birthday story is in the Bible too. So let's watch part of that story right now. And as we watch, see if you can find someone special who told Mary and Joseph a message from God. Let's put on our thinking caps and our listening ears and watch this Bible story together. Stories of the Bible, Mary and Joseph. This is Mary. You see, Mary was the mother of Jesus, but before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. Mary had no children because she lived according to God's law <laughs> and had never been married. Oops. But she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Hey <laughs> One day, an angel came to Mary and said, Hi. Ah! That God had chosen Mary. The angel said, God is with you. But Mary was afraid and confused. Huh? She wondered what the angel was talking about. Then the angel said, Don't be afraid. God loves you and wants to use you in a great way. Uh, me? You will give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. 
He will be very great, and he will be the king forever. Uh, hold on. Mary asked, but how can this happen? For she was not married yet and knew that she couldn't have a child until she was married. But the angel told Mary that the Holy Spirit would make her pregnant. Wow. So that the baby born will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Wow. The angel reminded her that nothing is impossible with God. Eh, okay, let's do this. So Mary decided to trust God and all that he had planned for her. Before their wedding, Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant. Wait, what? He thought she had done something wrong. Uh. But Joseph was a man of God and decided to break off the engagement quietly so no one around town would think badly of Mary. While Joseph was thinking about all this, an angel appeared to him in a dream. Oh. Uh, hi? The angel said, Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Huh, what? The angel explained that Mary's baby was from God. Wait, what? The angel told Joseph that the baby's name would be Jesus, and he would save his people from their sins. Oh, wow. And when Joseph woke up, he did as the angel told him and took Mary as his wife while she was still pregnant with the son of God. Uh, hi. You right? Really? And so Joseph and Mary trusted in God, and the two followed the plan that God had given them to help bring the Savior into the world. What a great story! Did you see the angels who came to tell Mary and Joseph God's plan? That was amazing! And the best part is that Mary and Joseph believed what the angels told them. Mary knew that their baby would be God's son, Jesus. And we can believe that Christmas is all about Jesus. That reminds me of a special verse in the Bible. But wait, it is all covered with bubbles. Can you help me pop them all so we can see our Bible verse? Let's do it! Okay, everybody! It's bubble popping time! A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait! That's not a bubble, that's a bubble! Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles! Bubble popping party people! Let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them by the side! That's it! Alright, alright, keep going, yay! We're almost there! We're at the pop! job popping the bubbles, everyone, and look what you did. We can see our Bible verse now. It says, don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Luke 2, 10 and 11. These words tell us that Jesus was born at Christmas, and there are so many special things to do at Christmas to think about Jesus. One way we can do that is by remembering Jesus in the words about Christmas from the Bible. So let's sing this Bible verse song together. Stand on up and get ready to sing and dance to Luke 2, 10 and 11. All right, friends, let's bring our sleigh bells together and then we're gonna ring some Christmas bells, ready? And let's clap our hands. Now this verse is from the Christmas story and it's what the angels said to the shepherds. the Savior. The
out the Savior. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David, Luke 2, 10 and 11. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David, Luke 2, 10 and 11. All right, guys, let's ring our sleigh bells. Great job singing out that verse. Great job, everyone. Who was born on Christmas in Bethlehem? Jesus! He's the Savior and Messiah we just sang about. And because of this good news about Jesus, we can celebrate Him together. There are so many different ways to show we believe Christmas is all about Jesus. And friends, you are in for a treat. I heard that one of our Scuppet friends has a special show for us this Christmas. It's our friend Melly. Friends, it's time to watch this episode of Piece of Cake Christmas Edition. I wonder what they'll make today. Let's watch. Merry Christmas, friends. I'm Melly, and welcome to the Christmas edition of Skepton's favorite cooking show, Piece of Cake. Meet our two contestants. I'm Jim. And I'm Gift. Jim and Gift will both be shown an amazing, delicious Christmas treat made specially by Bog. They will have to try to make their treats look as good as Bog's treat. It'll be a piece of cake. Do you think they can do it? I do. Me too. So what are we making today? Today you are making a gingerbread train. I love gingerbread. I love trains. <laughs> Me too. Bog really went all out on this one. Okay, well, you're going to need all the time you can get on this. Ready, set, decorate! Jim is using the white frosting. Wow, he's putting it on the gingerbread. What is the inspiration for your train? My inspiration's a lot of colors and lots of sweet candy. My inspiration for my gingerbread train is candy cane, so I'm gonna make a candy train. Wow, what a great idea. Now Gift is putting some red on her train. That looks great. Oh, now Jim is putting on more frosting. You know what, Melly? I have my candy train captain now. Ooh! Yay! He's gonna be the captain of my train. Oh, now Gift is putting on lots of amazing snow. I just wanna eat this train, it looks so good. I believe this is going to turn out amazing. I think so too. But wait, what does it mean to believe? To believe means to know something is true with all your heart. What are some things you know are true with all your heart? I believe that Jesus loves me. I believe our big idea. Oh, what's our big idea? Our big idea is this. I can believe that Christmas is all about Jesus. That's great. There were two people in the Bible named Mary and Joseph who believed. What did they believe? They believed what the angel told them about Jesus. Mary knew that her child would be God's son. When we believe something is true, we can do things that show what we believe is true. Like celebrating Jesus at Christmas time with a special piece of cake show? Yes, or by reading the Christmas story in the Bible about Jesus. Or by decorating a Christmas tree and remembering the real things that happened at the first Christmas. Or by singing happy birthday to Jesus. Or by making a big gingerbread train to celebrate him. Yes, we can do all those things this Christmas. So friends, remember our big idea. I can believe Christmas is all about Jesus. Time's up. Now let's see your trains. Jim, tell us about your gingerbread train. Well, Melly, um, I was going for all my colors. I got my Oreos, my favorite candies. I got my M&Ms, and I got a little snow sprinkled around, and this is my sweet gingerbread train. Wow, I love it. Gift, how about you? Mine is called the candy train. I am using a gummy bear as my candy train captain. We also have this rainbow marshmallows and all the Lego candy. Wow, yummy! They both look amazing to me, so friends, you're going to need to decide who the winner is going to be. It's time to vote. Cheer for the gingerbread train you like the best. Here we go. 
If you like Jim's train, cheer! And if you like Gift's gingerbread train, cheer now! And the winner is... Gift! Congratulations! Wow, that's amazing! See, I told you it would be a piece of cake. Friends, this Christmas, as you're having so much fun with your families, remember our big idea. I, I can, can believe, believe Christmas, Christmas is, is all about, about Jesus. Jesus! Thanks for joining us for the Christmas edition of Piece of Cake. We love you, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs> that was a yummy and fun show. Even while making a special treat, Jim, Gift, and Melly showed us how fun it is celebrating Jesus this Christmas. They learned about what it means to believe. And friends, we can believe that Christmas is all about Jesus when we celebrate this Christmas. Christmas is already so much fun, and I think Christmas is going to be even more fun this year because we know Christmas is all about Jesus. So whatever you do this Christmas, whether it's decorating your Christmas tree, making Christmas cookies, looking at Christmas lights, you can know that all these things are to celebrate Jesus. Let's say a prayer and tell Jesus we believe Christmas is all about Him. So put five fingers here, five fingers there, and put them together for a prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Thank you for coming to earth on Christmas as a baby. We believe that Christmas is all about you. Help us to celebrate you this Christmas. We love you so much, amen. Thanks for watching Church at Home with me. I have had so much fun with you learning what Christmas is all about. Have fun getting ready to celebrate Jesus' birthday. And don't forget to have a grown-up help you go to saddlebackkids.com for some fun crafts and activities for you to learn more about Christmas. And we would love to see you in person too. So check out our campus locations and come visit us. Now let's say our big idea one more time. I can believe Christmas is all about Jesus. Ready? One, two, three. I can believe Christmas is all about Jesus. Great job. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.